Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper. Takedown. Our exploration of the sport continues. Nike hot seat. Very special guest, 2016 Olympian, Travel Delagna. Travel, how are you? I'm doing well, Scott. Thanks for having me on the show. It wasn't that long ago when you actually considered not wrestling anymore due to injuries that you'd been experiencing with your back. Can you talk to us about where you are with your back? How healthy are you right now? Um, I, I think I figured out, you know, some of the issues I was doing. I was overdoing certain therapy. I was, you know, I didn't have certain therapies that I needed. So I'm kind of normalizing. I'm feeling better. It's still not, still not ideal, but definitely way better than I was before the trials and a couple weeks after. So I think I'm at least on the right road. So I'm hoping, you know, three months out as we are, I'm hoping that each week gets a little better, a little better. And so I can keep getting more consistent training, more consistent training until uh, I have to compete. So right now I would say it's pretty good. I remember, matter of fact, it was in front of the U S Olympic trials, uh, as many as two days in front of the trials. You didn't think you were ever going to wrestle again because you had this, and I'm going to quote you, you had this really, really weird and scary pain that would go from your back and down into your legs. Can you describe that? Yeah, it kind of freaked me out. I uh, I know that, well, I said legs because I felt like it was, you know, the right forum. But what actually happened was it circled back into my gut and it felt like someone had kicked me in the testicles. So I know that there's like, they say that you can lose, you know, if your disc ruptures, you can lose, you know, the control of your bladder. So I know that you know, back symptoms coming around the front are not good. So when that happened, it was like the Thursday of the week that I was competing on Saturday. So yeah, I had just done a couple of minutes of stance in motion, nothing crazy. Did a sauna. I was a little locked up. So kind of like in my hotel room, I kind of moved around, got my stance and like just my, my, like my, my testicles and, and kind of my lower abs got really, really tender. And so I was like, I did something, like something's wrong. And so really uh, scared me. We're talking with Travel Delagnev. Uh, of course, you know him as the uh, 2016 U.S. Olympic, uh, well, he's Olympic gold, hopeful anyway. And we appreciate the fact that uh, he uh, is going to be wrestling for the United States of America. We sure hope that uh, all this will uh, work out to be uh, in the best behavior or best results, I should say, for the United States of America. And after all, that is the ultimate goal. But walking away a healthy man to be able to play with your boys and, and what have you, Travel, that's got to be an ultimate goal as well. Absolutely. And that's what really, I mean, the older you get, the more things go into perspective. And obviously when you're young, you're thinking – whatever it takes, you know, I, I, I have to do everything. But honestly, when I, you know, I'm 30 and I mean, I remember when I, I felt that I just, that's like, it wasn't even performance didn't even cross my mind. It was like future health. Like, am I, am I going to really be dealing with this for the rest of my life? Like, am I going to be, you know, get up in pain in a bad mood, you know, not want to play, not want to run around because my back's hurting for, you know, it's like like that kind of stuff crosses your mind as a father where you're like, it just kind of makes you, it puts you in a bad attitude when you're dealing with pain every day. So, you know, at that, at that point, I wasn't even thinking like, how's this going to affect my wrestling? I was thinking like, how's this going to affect me as a person? Right. And father, you mentioned that um, being a father is a tremendous honor uh, to be a father, to be a good dad. And you've been described uh, by your friends and your family as being a very good dad. And uh, I really enjoy watching. I, 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 what I enjoy is watching uh, my friends uh, th through wrestling, and I'd like to see them become fathers because it, it's a whole other chapter, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's really it's exciting, you know, and you, you start to appreciate. I mean, you appreciate your wrestling career because you know that it doesn't go forever. And so you, I feel like you become more grateful as life goes on uh, for the opportunities. But I also think you gain perspective that, 
you can't you can't just completely obsess yourself with one thing and become a one dimensional human being because when you're done with wrestling and eventually everyone will be at least competing you have to be a functional human being you can't just be the gold medalist who is has no friends no life no social skills and and just trying to get on with life so it's it's very important to for me to teach my sons uh you know virtues that i think are important value systems that i think are important and i want them to see that especially my oldest now toward the end of my career he's gonna remember some of this stuff so i want to i want to be a good role model with my wrestling because if one day he chooses to be an athlete or whatever he does whatever he gets passionate about I want him to keep it in the right place and and deal with 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 disappointments or deal with with exciting times and and triumphs correctly. You are definitely one of the senior members of Team USA. We just picked up another one. Frank Molinaro uh, got himself into the Olympics uh, first and foremost because he he won a bronze medal. And uh, once those above him were um, disqualified due to um, maldonium uh, and and other doping agents. Um, he was moved up automatically, giving a shot at the Olympic uh, at the Olympic gold. I think that's pretty cool. But you've got a strong uh, contingent of fellow athletes like Elena and Ben and and uh, so many. You know, so many that have have uh, given their heart and their soul to you know the idea and the ideal um i want to talk to you in in particular about wrestling zach ray it seems like zach ray is always right there ready to face you but you seem to have figured him out is he getting stronger or what oh i don't know he's always been really strong (laughs) um i just think you know we're very familiar i mean we've wrestled close to 10 times in competition and probably close to 30 times in practice matches so you know when you when you're when you're a good wrestler when you're a high level athlete and then you become familiar with someone it just becomes a game of inches. So I think that's kind of you know we became very familiar and especially that he separated himself as you know for a long time it was you know between him Bradley Fortune you know one of the you know I didn't know who I was gonna have but he kind of separated himself as the clear you know I had him the last three years in the finals. Right. And so he kind of separated himself as a clear uh, guy to challenge me as the number two guy and, you know, challenging for the number one spot. So that, you know, you, you wrestle a guy a couple of the years in a row in the best of three. I mean, you're going to get pretty familiar with the guy. So I think, yeah, that's what that's what kind of happened. You know, he he gets older, he gets wiser. I get older, I get wiser. You know, things start to, you know, I get I get an injury here. I you know, so so things, you know, anything can happen like that. So I I kind of just try to focus on the wrestling and not the implications of what's happening. But yeah, I mean, he's he's a tough opponent, and he's he's yeah, he's kind of built himself up to be. I mean, he, he places in all his international events. You know, he's beaten some solid people, so he's he's stepped up. Will we see you at the 2016 World Cup in Los Angeles? That's the plan. That's that the, plan. the plan. I'm planning on wrestling there and. Plan on being healthy, ready to go. What did you think of the pool draw? We have Iran in our pool, Azerbaijan, and in India. Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, there's really, you know, that's what it was going to, I mean, I know Mongolia, you know, I look at it from a heavyweight standpoint. I know Mongolia and India are kind of lightweight heavy as far as, like, their their studs. Um, but there really wasn't a, a weak team, you know, obviously there. So, yeah, whatever the draw was going to be. I know Russia, I don't think, is sending their number ones, but their other teams are more than capable of winning. So it'll be interesting because, you know, Georgia and Turkey are obviously really strong teams. And, and in my, I mean, in my pool, just talking my weight class, you know, we have the Gashami, who's Iran, who's beat me a couple, like a, a couple times. I've only beaten him once. I think he's beaten me four or five times. Just the matchup's pretty tough for me. And then... So we'll see if I can figure him out or if they put a, put their other guy out against me, who I actually match up a little better against. Uh, and Azerbaijan, who's the returning world silver medalist. So 
we'll see. Uh, it'll be it'll be good, definitely good competition before we get ready to go for Olympic Games. Well, Travell, I know that you have many things that take up your day, and uh, we want to wish you the best and and tell you how much we appreciate you taking time to talk to the fans and try to uh, try to bring a little bit of real. There it is. Who's that talking? That's uh, that's Titus. That's my youngest. He Titus? seems to be in a bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking forward. Have you seen what the gold medals look like from the Olympic Games this year? No, are they released? I I haven't seen them myself. That's I thought perhaps they would give the big man an opportunity to see them before they let the news media. No, I haven't seen them. Well, I'm sure whatever whatever it looks like, it'll look great around your neck. Well, thanks a lot, Sky. That's the plan, and hopefully it works out that way for me. All right, sponsors, uh, the clubs, who do you want to thank? I want to thank Sunkiss Kids. They've been with me since the beginning. They're a great club, great people. I've gotten to know them very well. Our Martori, Kim Martori, great relationships there. Um, Asics, Cliff Keen, um, Papaya Fit. They hooked me up with food. Donskoff Strength and Conditioning, Ohio RTC. Um, orthopedic one, a bunch of, I mean, Kelly Chiropractic and Therapy, uh, Lane Avenue Chiropractic, Dr. J. Villal. I mean, it's this back stuff. A lot of these therapy places have really come in and helped me out. So it's been a, it's been a, it's been a team effort. So I appreciate, appreciate everyone's, everyone's support. The, uh, team, uh, the goal of the team is to be the problem solver, allowing you to do what you do best. And that's get out there and dispatched dispatch the best in the world Travel, it's always good talking with you man thank you so much all right thanks scott god bless